okay, so Facebook ads are getting super expensive. Um, what do you do, right? Like in your mind, oh my goodness, everything's gonna get more expensive. Everything's going up, it's inflation. Um, how are we gonna maintain profit? How are we gonna blah, 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 okay? So how do you combat the question, right? How to combat cost, rising cost of acquisition, okay? The simple answer and answer that you don't wanna hear is that you can't, okay? You, you simply can't combat rising cost of acquisition, okay? So in the online world, I'm sure you know this, every single dollar counts, okay? And so if, if you know for a fact, it's like prices are only going to go up from here, there's no way like um, advertising cost is gonna decrease because as more people come online, um, the advertisers are gonna come online. People are still spending money on TV, just to tell you. So those people have not even shifted all of their ad spend uh, to online. And Facebook and Google basically owns everything, right? So how do you actually combat that, such that your businesses still are profitable, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there are generally probably like two or three things per se, okay? You have like a superior offer, that's number one. You have a superior offer that you are competing against other people. So that whatever you're offering right, is so much better than everybody else. Your product is so much better and that there's no reason why anybody should basically uh, shop with other your competitors, right? They should always shop with you purely because you are the source. You are the best product in the marketplace. You are getting the most results for people. You are delivering the most trans tra transformations. You are helping people solve the most acne problems and stuff like that, right? So, so that's number one. It's like you are super superior. So like Tesla, right? Tesla is like, superior to, to other technologies. Why, why would I ever drive a gas car in the future, right? Why would I ever drive a car that is not self-driving, right? So that, that's what I mean by you have a superior offer, you have a superior product, product to other people, okay? A lot of the times, um, we don't have superior products. That's, that's the issue, right? So, so what is the, the, the way to do this, okay? Simple answer, right? You increase LTV, you increase AOV, okay? You need to charge more for the products, okay? And then you might be asking, you have the objection saying that, hey, hey John, if I, if I charge more, right? Uh, my conversion rates are gonna go down. Everything's gonna go down, and more people are gonna like less people are gonna buy from me. And to that, I say that you're hundred percent true, one thousand percent true. If you if you raise the price on your current products, right, your conversion rates are gonna decrease, sales are gonna plummet, stuff like that. Okay, but that also means you are thinking, you're assuming you're got you're selling the same thing um, as what you're currently selling. Okay, so so what you need to do is to get uh, increase AOV crafting with the better offer and making the the value that you drive for your customer higher, okay? So if, if, you're, if you're solving like X problem here, you need to solve Y problem. You need to provide them more value in order to charge that amount as well, okay? What else can you offer in your arsenal that you're able to basically charge more, right? For example, if you were selling uh, Pilates, for example, so Pilates is like a sport, uh, aerobics, stuff like that, right? If you sell them resistant bands, what else can you sell them that they may potentially have value for, right? C can you sell them um, like foam rollers, can you sell them yoga kits, can you sell them yoga mats, right? And if you package that, that package together, you're able to sell at a higher price point and you're able to basically combat that rising cost acquisition at the same time, okay? I know it's very, very difficult. I know it's very, very painful, but like how they say is you need to overcome and adapt, okay? The people who do not adapt right are going to die out immediately because they look at their, their P&L, they look at the profit and loss statement and they're just like, I, I can't do anything, you know what I mean? And so, for a for fact that uh, I, when I talk to people, especially, right, they keep obsessing about ad strategies. It's not about ad strategies, let me tell you, okay? It's really about providing more value to your customers because if the, the time you spend trying to do that, right, you actually can spend more time prov like uh, producing more content and selling more uh, and stuff like that instead of trying to figure out what ad strategies, okay? So I feel, just my opinion here, sorry, a lot of people, right, they're looking at the wrong thing. They, they, they don't know what to fix in their business because they always, they're emotionally invested. They put a lot of effort into it. So they cannot see from an outside perspective, from unbiased perspective that, hey, these are your numbers right here. This is clearly not working. We need to fix this, okay? So so that is why um, I say that, hey, like rising cost acquisition is super painful, but it's gonna happen. So before it happens, right, you better fix your business, better change something and, uh, you know, better, uh, yeah, okay? Hopefully this makes sense to you and hopefully like, this gives you insight, but more value you charge, uh, sorry, more value you provide, more amount you can charge. More amount you can charge, you combat rising cost of acquisition, okay? Your profit margins are not suddenly like uh, thinned out purely because of some algorithm change or something like that, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you, yeah, okay? If you want us to help you with your e-commerce marketing and stuff, I'll put links in the description, watch the video, and if you're interested, uh, you can book a call as well, okay? Hopefully this makes sense, and um, I'll see you in the next video.